at approximately 12.35 p.m. An aircraft incident occurred here at AVP, and here's what I can share, you with, share with you at the present time. First of all, there was one soul on board who was in the aircraft when the incident occurred here at the airport. The aircraft that, that flew here and ended up uh, crashing is actually a part of the air show that's being run at the racetrack in Poconos. They're doing some practicing here and we simply were here for them to practice and operate before the show. The show was not going to be here at this airport. The show was going to be at the Pocono Raceway. Was this person a part of the, I mean, you confirm in the Geico Sky Typers. This is I can't, the I can't confirm with. them, confirm that at, at this present time. And so you are confirming it is a fatality, sir? There is a fatality, but we will not announce any other information because at this point, because of the situation involving the family, where, where our exactly, hearts go out to the family. Where we want exactly to make sure that they know. On the airport, did it occur? It occurred on the north end of the of the airport, somewhere near the where the taxiway and the runway intersect. Were they taking off? Was this plane taking off, landing? Can you just disclose any information about what may have happened or what, led to this? What we've been told is that they were taking off at the present time. What do we know about the uh, the air show and scheduling for that? You'd have to ask the Pocono Raceway. I don't. Have your flights been uh, temporarily halted while this is un under investigation? Or? We were closed for a short period of time. We are now open. Okay. Has FAA so, been notified? The FAA will give a give an interview later on, and they'll be able to tell them tell you exactly their circumstances. So, Carl, from what we understand, the FAA is currently here though and starting to investigate, right? I can't, I can't confirm that at the present time. The NTSB are they coming later? The NTSB normally comes, yes. Okay, so for people who might have to use, you know, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton later, the airport for commercial flights has not been affected. Everything's back up and running with yes, that. Yes, we are operating. Okay, so what are the next steps, I guess? Just waiting for more of the investigators here and, and no other yeah. aircraft were involved, right? None at all. Uh, the, the, the FAA and the NTSB will do their investigation. It'll be separate from what the airport. Carl, any, I mean, obviously you're the director, this is your airport, this happens here. Any reaction as to, as to what happened? Oh, our hearts go out to the, the family of the person who uh, was the casualty today. Uh, we, we wish them the best and um, whatever we can do for them, we're certainly there for them. Is this U.S. Air Force personnel that's involved in this? Um, I can't confirm that. Okay. Was there any radio um, communication as he was taking off to the tower saying, like, I'm having a malfunction, I'm having a problem, or anything like that? Nothing that I can confirm, no. We will have another, we will release a press release somewhere around 3 p.m., or 4 p.m., excuse me, and that'll give you the information that possibly I couldn't share right now. Carl, from what I understand, I mean, the air show has, it sort of flips between Wilkes-Barre, Scranton International every year and Pocono Raceway. I mean, have you guys ever had an ordeal or a crash situation like this before? Usually it's with Binghamton. It is not with the Pocono Raceway. Okay. They don't have, they haven't had air shows a lot in the past, so it's not someone that we work with. Was there any uh, access uh, difficulties or were you able to get to the scene, uh, your, your emergency crews? It's quickly, immediately? The immediately. emergency crews responded. They did an excellent job, and uh, we'll have more on that going forward. Did they have to use uh, foam uh, uh, retardant for the scene? Any, any, of course. Of any course. They're going to do anything they can to make sure that whoever is in that plane yeah. will be saved as quickly as possible. Okay. And Carl, obviously when all of this played out, there was so much activity here. Was it just the airport emergency crews who kind of took care of everything, or did you guys have to call in um, more folks? Because I mutual heard maybe the Pittston Township Fire Department was here. Yeah. The, the mutual aid companies from the local area are a very important part of the way that we respond to incidents, emergency incidents, and they did a fantastic job here. The crew that works at the airport are usually first on the scene, obviously, because they're here. But having uh, mutual aid to go along with what we have here at the airport has uh, allowed us to respond, I think, very effectively. Carl, put two, two together. Uh, the scene's still going to be active down there when NTSB comes. Are the airplanes, arrivals, and departures going to come from the south? Because that scene's still going to be active while they... I couldn't answer that at the present time, but we'll certainly, you know, we'll see, certainly keep an eye out for it. And obviously, just, I mean, looking here, it, I, as soon as this happened, all of the air show performers, all of that traffic was grounded, right? Mm-hmm.
What ru so are there any p commercial planes that can't land on that runway that wouldn't be able to land here now because maybe that's, I think that's your longest runway, right? 422 is our longest runway. It's 7,500 feet long. So it handles any aircraft that's going to come in and out of this airport. But that won't impact any commercial flights today in and out of here? No, the, it's reopened. The runway is reopened and, uh, and the aircraft that are scheduled to come in and out are going to be able to, are going to, be able to come in and, in and out of this airport. Do you know when the last time something like this uh, so horrific has happened here at AVP? No, I don't. Thank you. I'm good. Anything else you want to